Hi everyone, this is Andy. Welcome back to the channel. After watching this video, you will know how to build your own auto video clipping with AI agents. Let's take a look at the result first. I have this sense that, that there are very powerful secret societies operating today and we don't really know or understand them. And the conspiracy theories in spirit might have something to them, but are actually factually not correct. Well, you get like influential people in media. That's pretty good. Business. So if you like this result, remember to like the video and save this workflow tutorial so that you can always come back and rewatch it anytime you want. All right, let's take a look at another live demo now. This is the podcast video. And this is the no copyright gameplay video. This is the background music that we can use for free. No co uh, copyright free as well. And this is for the Google Sheets. We have the title, caption, URL, posted at what time status. We'll store everything here after we have done the auto clipping. All right. And then let's run through our NAN workflow first. And at the end of this video, I will share with you where you can get the template. Great. Let's take a look at our Google Sheet here. We can see the title, caption, and video URL. Let's take a look at the video. Try to be useful. Um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings, to the world. It's very hard to be useful. I think that's the thing. Great, that's the result of our live demo. All right, for our next step is to auto upload to our YouTube channel here. So you can see this is our um, workflow for uploading the YouTube channel. We can try to run it now okay let's take a look at our google sheet first the status is posted and let's go to our youtube channel and try to refresh it great it's uploaded and let's take a look at this try to be useful um you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human being great so this is our live demo for this auto clipping uh, workflow. And we'll teach you how we can do that on your local host. So let's dive in. All right, first of all, for this video auto clipping tool, we are going to build it on your local NNN. So we need to have the Docker desktop for your Mac or for your PC, you can search from Google and then download Docker desktop. And then we will give you this Docker file and our community, I'll share with you where you can get this at the end of this video. Or you can just make your own file here. Just copy and paste this, okay? Because we need to install the library of FFmpeg. So that's why we need to run this. Okay, so there are two scenarios. The first one, you're starting from scratch. The second one, you have already installed your local NNN. So let's go through the first one first. First of all, we go to terminal, we search for terminal and then you can run this to script okay so this one it means the local port so where we will find it we will find it in the image and then python and also the container and then you can run both when you want to, when you want to run the any workflow or start building your local um, auto clipping tool for the second scenario it means that you have already installed NNN from Docker Hub by searching for NNN and install this one. And then you need to get the container ID first. So where to find a container ID? So this one is the one that you installed by searching from Docker Hub. So you can copy this ID and paste it here. And then copy the whole one and then go to terminal and execute. So that's how you can install your uh, container and also the images on Docker. So you can start building on your local machine for the NNN workflow for this auto clipping tool. All right, let's get started. For the first node, we will have the edit field node and then we rename it as SS because we are going to get the links of the three YouTube, the gameplay one, music, and also the podcast. How we are going to get the link is uh, going to the URL and get the latest, uh, get the ending part of the URL. And then we can just copy and paste and paste it to here. Okay. 
And then we will have another node. This is a node specialized for local host. So where we can get it, we can search for execute command. Execute command. All right. And then we rename it as download gameplay because uh, we this is the gameplay video we are going to download. So so for YT it means the YouTube we use this um, model uh, to download the gameplay video, and this is the MP4 file. And we are going to download the background music, and we are using the audio format of MP3. Okay. And for podcasts, again we use the MP4. Okay. And we are going to extract the podcast feed, uh, audio. And we need to use hyphen Y um, because it's for uh, always overwrite. It's very important. Okay. And we're going to extract the highlights. For this note, it's another new note. All right. It's very important note. We are going to, uh, and, then, and then we can search for preview. Uh, this one read or writes files from disk. Okay. And then we can rename it as read podcast audio. And then we can take a look at this. Um, like try to learn a little bit about it. Okay, great. And then another note, this is HTTP request note. We rename it as OpenAI Whisper. It's very important. Okay, we can scroll down and can see the uh, form data, timestamp, form data model, Whisper 1 we choose, and the response format. Verbal's JSON, and it's very important. NA and binary file file data. That's why we need to always have the data, the read podcast audio, the note, the read, um, the note uh, before this uh, open AI whisper. Okay, it's on the right hand side, you can see it's, uh, these are the words starting seconds, ending seconds. Okay. All right, we are going to use the execute command uh, to have this note to create the list. This list is for uh, the segmentations for the video combinations. It's for combining the videos at the end. Okay, and then we have another note. This is for generating the highlights of the video. So the the problem we use here is to analyze the, analyze the provided transcript array and then um, the total duration of all highlights uh, and then prioritize action with highly informational value emotional impact or key theories it basically tell the ai what to extract what to highlight and then we can scroll down we can give some examples and rules for example like merge adjacent or sequential entries if they form a coherent highlight all right we scroll down we can see the message this chat message Again, we need to JSON stringify everything. Uh, it's for getting the words and index, starting time, starting second basically, or adding seconds. Okay. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see the transcript basically. Start index, end index, the transcript, etc. All right. And we have the structured output parser here. Uh, this is the JSON example. And we use to get the AI. We use DeepSeek here. All right, DeepSeek v3. And we have the split out node here to split out the transcript with the starting index and end index. And we have the sort node. Okay, as this first simple one, just uh, ascending order using the start uh, index. And this is the most important part, the segmentation and the file combination. We are going to combine everything together in this workflow. First of all, we have the loop over items here. And we will set another edit fields node. This is, we name it, uh, we rename it into random string. As you can see, this is the um, URL. And this is the random string, basically, that we are going to use it for later stage. Okay, we use FFmpeg to concate the video. Okay, we can see uh, hyphen SS means the starting second. This is starting second. Hyphen T means the duration. Okay. Okay, you can see this expression. Just copy and paste. Okay. Then we are going to update the list. This is the list that we created before, the list.txt. Okay. And then we use this read files from disk. And then we can take a look at this. There are five items here. We can take a look at that. Try to be useful. Um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow. 
great. If this is another MP4 file, so there you can see there are five segments over there. Okay. Then we are going to the loop, and then we concate video here. We use FFmpeg again. Okay. Um, this is a list txt that we created before. All right. And then we set random string. The string is for um, uploading to the Google Cloud later. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to extract the audio. This one is the execute command note. And we use FFmpeg. Um, it's for uh, extracting the audio from the upper uh, MP4. Upper, upper one means the podcast video. Okay. Uh, this is audio MP3. And we preview the upper one here. We can take a look at this. Try to be useful. Um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings, Great. to the world. All right, so we have the upper part ready. Okay, we are going to upload the video to the cloud. We use Google Cloud Storage. And we created a bucket name as NN Clip. And this is the object name, upper, because uh, we have upper part and lower part. Lower part is the gameplay, and upper part is the podcast one. And we're going to have the music BGM. We extract it from the disk, from the local. And upload music to the cloud. Okay. And then read um, the gameplay view. This is a Minecraft one. All right. Upload to the cloud again. And then we read the audio. Try to be useful. Um, from the podcast. You know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings, to the world. It's very hard. Great. And we have the OpenAI note here. It's for Whisper. And here we are going to do what we are going to do is uh, to the transcription. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see the uh, word, starting time, ending, second, etc. Combine all the transcript using this uh, code note. Uh, for example, we have, we have three words for each line. We have the starting time, ending time. Yeah, you can fine tune the um, length here. We just put three here. Okay. And then we have another HTTP request note. We rename it as create video. And this is the API we use. Any note code again, you need to use it as a query auth. Query auth. We can go to any note code and then you can go to documentation and search for clip video generation. This is the um, gener uh, clip video generation API documentation. And you can go to API and this is API key. You can copy and paste. Okay. And then we can take a look at the JSON here. We have the background URL, clip URL, gameplay URL, transcript. Remember to JSON stringify everything, and we need to add uh, first uh, for the URL. Okay. All right. We need to add the wait note uh, for 10 seconds. Check the video progress. Again, this is the um, using the API. All right. Have an if note. If the status equals to done, then we proceed to next. If not, if keep waiting and getting the video progress. Another edit field note, we rename it to set final video URL. So this is the final video URL here. We will get the generate the title and transcript. For the prompt, we use uh, analyze the following video of transcript and generate a compelling YouTube Shorts title under 60 characters, attention, grabbing, use emojis and captions. And this is the example output, like title, caption, JSON. Uh, right, uh, structured output parser. This is the output structure, the JSON example. And finally, we are going to update the sheets. Again, connect with your Google Sheet account. It's very easy. We map each column manually. This is the title, caption, video URL. All right. So that's it for the video generation part. All right, after we create the YouTube video, we are going to upload it automatically to our YouTube channel. First of all, we have the schedule trigger here. All right, uh, we can schedule it for example, one day between trigger. 
you can set up uh, the time interval that you want and we will have the Google Sheet Noki again connect with your Google account connect with your uh, Google Sheets document so this is our Google Sheets we have the title caption video URL posted at what time status as the uh, first row the column name all right so we get the status here first and have the limit note uh, maximum one item and for the YouTube link um, for local host uh, we need to use HTTP request for the YouTube um, workflow we have this HTTP request node and then we rename it as the create YouTube link we use this URL as the Google API all right and then we are going to use predefined credential type YouTube OAuth to API connect with your YouTube account all right using fields below content type applications uh, slash JSON X upload content type video webm raw JSON let's take a look at this snippet title description default language you choose English all right uh, private status public you can choose whatever you want for example private license YouTube embeddable true etc just copy and paste this after we create the uh, YouTube link we're going to download YouTube again another HTTP request note you can take a look at this this is the URL okay let's take a look at this try to be useful um, you do things okay then we are going to upload the video put method this is the URL all right let's go down uh, and then binary file data which means this one all right on the right hand side this is the snippet ID e tag the kind here. then we are going to update the Google Sheets again connect with your Google Sheets again okay? account and map each column manually uh, column to match on the row number row number title caption video URL posted at what time uh, status great so that's it for the upload YouTube part basically this is the whole workflow for creating this um, auto clipping video automation tool uh, you can build this on your local host to save the cost and also you can upload to YouTube automatically if you want to get this template feel free to join our any note code community we provide all other different templates as well more than 15 of that and we keep adding more and more every single week and more importantly we are going to provide tech support to all of you if you have any questions when setting up your own editing workflow we provide uh, technical support in our community and hope to see you there